Now, I wasn't intending on talking about the new 3DS, but long story short, a friend called me when I was at Best Buy trying to get parts to fix my computer, or well, actually use a backup computer because, you know, my main one's kind of broken because the CPU fan failed, and long story short, this computer has so many other problems that I'm just going to save up to get a new one. So while getting a part so I could use this one computer as like a spare computer, I went to Best Buy and, well, a friend called me and one of the things he was asking me was if I could wait in line at the new 3DS. And I'm like, I'm not getting one. I already have my own old 3DS and I really don't see a need to get one. But then I'm walking around the gaming section looking for the GPUs and I actually found the new 3DS demo kiosk. And well, of course, I already had a little bit of complaints about this, but the first one I'll talk about is the hardware. Now, as you can see, here's a close-up picture I took of the 3DS XL, or new 3DS XL, that is, and its button layout. Now, keep in mind, Nintendo apparently thought it was a good idea to put a tiny ThinkPad-like tracking knob, you know, the thing you found on your dad's old laptop, right above the ABXY buttons. Now, I... I just moved it around a little bit, and here's the thing, this is not a very good control method, especially if you want to control, like, let's just say, dual stick games. And while the Vita has, like, um, actual dual sticks, instead of these fake dual sticks, this, on the other hand, has these, uh, it has this little ThinkPad tracking nub for one of the stick, and another analog nub, like the PSP had, for the other stick, which is kind of dumb, in my opinion. And here's the thing, they could have fixed this, they could have taken the opportunity to replace this old stick with the new one, but instead they replaced it with, well, one of the sticks is now a little tiny analog nub, and the other stick is the same old analog nub. They did not fix anything with regards to this, but you know what? It seems like they have not fixed a lot of the old system's problems either while actually adding new ones, and let me show you what I'm talking about here, okay? So I'd like to apologize for using a Mac, because long story short, I don't have any of my software on this PC, and well, the only thing I had was this PowerBook, which had um, iMovie, since I installed Linux on my other laptops. But anyways, let me talk about what this says here. The 3DS at GameStop is actually going to have a very specific trade-in, where if you buy a $200 new 3DS XL, and then transfer it and then return your new one for a refund and then trade it in for the 3DS you just returned then you'll get $100 off the new 3DS and they have to do this because Nintendo still does not have an account system like literally everyone else does in the gaming industry Valve, Sony, and Microsoft already have account systems where all you have to do is log into your Xbox, your PlayStation, or your PC and download your games. And you can't do that with Nintendo because you have to do this whole dated system transfer process. And well, you have to do a long, convoluted process, which as you can see by the little bar with for the scrolling that is, it's a very long process that requires a lot of steps just to do. Also, you can put your games on another system, when on the other systems, it's just login, and people are actually complaining about this on YouTube. The new 3DS also introduces new flaws. For example, while the old 3DS has the SD card slot on the side, on the new 3DS, if you buy a new SD card, you actually have to pop the back cover off with a screwdriver. Imagine giving a new 3DS to little Jimmy on his Christmas day, and he gets up and he opens up his new 3DS in his memory card and he finds out, Hey mommy, can you, uh, can you please take this back cover off and put the memory card in? Meanwhile, the old 3DS does not require this. And considering a lot of the audience of the 3DS and 2DS is kids, considering how Nintendo made the 2DS in a form factor reminiscent of a, like, let's just say, leapfrog toy instead of a gaming console, I honestly think Nintendo should have actually noticed that a lot of their demographic is still, in fact, kids. Because keep in mind, that's who the 2DS was targeted to, kids. To make matters worse, however, apparently Nintendo has not been stocking the new 3DS's charger despite the system not coming with a charger. While it would have not cost very much to stock a charger with the system, apparently many stores are not selling the real official charger. And of course, the online stores, of course, are just selling aftermarket chargers. 
And like all these stores such as Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, and all these other stores are not carrying the official charger. Now you might be wondering what's so bad about aftermarket chargers. Well, I'll put a video in the uh, annotations showing you what is wrong with many cheap aftermarket chargers. Because they can actually break your device and if they break your 3DS, Nintendo will not give you a replacement console without charging you a bunch of money to repair it. And many other companies do the same exact thing. So keep in mind, these chargers can be a bad idea, and yet in many places these are the only ones available. And that's because many stores are not stocking this charger, so Nintendo is also running into yet another stocking issue they did with the Amiibos, which is why Amiibos aren't being hoarded. They have with some of their super rare limited editions, which are might as well be called hoarder editions, because look how many people hoard them. And of course, let's not forget, of course, with the new 3DS and that kind of stuff, how Nintendo has also been having a bad track record with new hardware and being in stock, like with the GameCube adapters. I mean, look how rare those are. They are going for a lot of money. So all in all, Nintendo is making the same mistakes yet again with what is merely supposed to be a revision of an existing console. Did I mention that the 3DS doesn't really have that many upcoming games this year? And it's region locked still too. I mean, go look it up on GameStop's website. There are not many new 3DS games coming out this year, so all in all, I have two things to say. First, this is kind of pathetic, but second, if you buy this, you're supporting Nintendo and their dumb decisions. If you want Nintendo to get better, don't buy the new 3DS, and that's all I really have to say on this. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.